Why are you holding the head of a doll? Had to drop my wife's kid mobile off at Goodyear, get new tires, and I'm Ubering from here to JFK. Yeah, man, between the two of us and four kids, there's not enough time in the day. Off to LA, big meetings, and the annual kickoff for the West. 30 minutes till the flight takes off, but I think we'll make it through. Solid hour of emailing and video uploading and all kinds of other work to get done in the back of an Uber. I swear in the last week or so I've gotten more done in the back of Ubers and on planes than uh, anywhere else. But uh, off to LA, uh, awesome annual kickoff event plus some really interesting investor meetings with some celebrities and other people interested in coming in a love sack. This is the one. Just on time. It is amazing how much work you can get done. This is why I carry two iPhones. The other one's conveniently in my little bag right now, running Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, whatever, connected to this guy as I'm uploading video to Facebook, commenting, cross-linking, and generally keeping up with my crazy life. Travel tip number 4,162. Never stand in line to get on the plane. You're about to be on that thing for six hours. I don't know why people are clamoring. I guess it's because they want overhead space, but see, I always put my shoulder bag with all my clothes and stuff under my feet because it's a more comfortable seat, unless you're super tall, elevating your feet a little bit, believe it or not, bending your knees at the hips. Knees and hips a little more sit you more comfortably than extending your legs, which you can do anyway over your bag. I don't know why everyone fights for overhead space. They don't get it anyway, and then they get pissed. In New York! I even got an email off from my church. I am always impacted by the LA sprawl. It's scary, the number of people. I'm in LA! All right, so I got a good Seanism for you. Systemize to simplify. I was thinking about, you know, what I had to reflect on today. And I thought about my t-shirt. So <laughs> if you've, I don't know, paid attention, I'm pretty much always wearing a black t-shirt. And it's not just because like I'm some designer or because like I'm, I don't know. I, one, they're slimming, but two, when I go to pack, it's so easy. I grab four of them, like three, four day trip, throw them in the bag, you know, a pair of jeans, shoes will always work. In fact, I recently purged my whole sock drawer, right? So, you know, you had different kinds of socks and whatever. And I just went, I had, I had like a dozen of these one kind of socks, these black Adidas socks. And so I found on Amazon a dozen more and now I've just got like two dozen pair of the same, so I never have to look for matches. My wife never has to look for matches in the laundry if she helps me out, whatever. And in general, my life has just gotten so much simpler when I've just systemized everything that I can from, you know, I just wear black t-shirts and then everything else just kind of works, to my socks, to traveling. So like, I only do national and I basically, I never even plan ahead and book, right? Rates for like rental cars and hotels actually drop the closer you get to the date typically I mean unless like it's something like Sundance and of course I'll book ahead But uh, you know barring some special event It's cheaper. It's easier and I never have to like have all the stress and look for the reservation and look up some email from a month ago I literally booked this rental car when my plane landed in Los Angeles and at national It's cool because you always just walk out of the airport Look around at you know, whatever cars they have and pick one and get one and go Awesome. That's how we do it. Systemize to simplify. <sighs> Makes life so much easier. So inevitably, after like 24 hours of travel, I need a workout. Man, my body is just stiff and sore and tired and sleep deprived. 
and so landing in LA, like the best place to go, it's just like, I don't know, five, 10 minutes from the airport, Manhattan Beach, man. Um, awesome boardwalk, take a walk, go for a run. And these houses, man, these modern houses that line this place are just like unreal. They all need outdoor sectionals out here on these terraces though. Um, oh, look at this place. So cool. This place, wow. So just took a conference call with the TV show guys. That's right, working on something big. Hopefully it'll stick, we'll see. So I gotta, you know, drop some weight, get TV ready. Got a face made for radio. <laughs> Tomorrow we have the annual kickoff with the entire uh, west coast of Love Sack, and um, excited about that. Hopefully drop by Love Sack store tonight, get working on the front lines, have a dinner with a potential investor in just a couple hours, and on Friday, so here's a kind of a cool one, and this is also an ulterior motive why I'm here. My plan, because I'm embarrassed to do it any other way, <laughs> is to put myself through a little yoga crash course right here on the beach using YouTube because Friday morning I'm doing yoga with Russell Simmons. You know what I'm talking about? Def Comedy Jam, Russell Simmons, hip hop mogul, fashion mogul. He's uh, totally a yoga aficionado if you've followed what he's up to. And um, I've reached out to connect with him. He recently got some love sacks for a studio and um, <laughs> he invited me to drop some yoga with him. So I don't know what I'm doing and I'm certain to uh, embarrass myself in front of like a yoga guru. <laughs> and so I'm gonna teach myself yoga. I really should probably go take a class, but I don't even know what to wear. Like, you know, what does a round dude like me wear to yoga? We'll see. All right, I think I found my spot. I can set my phone on this ledge, watch YouTube, and learn yoga. Yoga lesson complete. My sandy yoga mat. I only failed at crow pose. Okay, I failed at the whole thing. But crow pose was significantly harder than the rest. By the way, also a great place to come for a quick meeting. Great restaurants, amazing. Manhattan Beach, man. Manhattan to Manhattan Beach, every time. In Sheraton Gateway by the airport. That's where our conference is tomorrow. Love sack. So another travel tip on the fly. When they ask you how many keys you want for your hotel room, always say two. Because believe it or not, I've had multiple times where I've gone up to my room and the key didn't work. You know, just because it's electronic, magnetic, whatever. And it is so lame when you're tired or whatever and you got bags and you have to go back down to the front desk and they're like, oh, sorry. And it's like they just wrecked your night. So just ask for two anyway. Helpful to mommy. Why are you holding the head of a doll? It's kind of weird that this is the second time in two weeks I've been on 3rd Street, downtown Los Angeles, Beverly Hills really, for dinner. My life is strange at the moment. With a really cool uh, investor who runs a fund out here that's uh, pretty well known and high profile and hopefully they're interested in what we're doing would be a, a cool partner for us as we move toward this uh, Reg A plus uh, crowd finance um, kind of historic um, potential IPO that we are uh, considering. So pay attention to the vlog so you can get in on it if you're interested in what we're doing at Love Sack. It's going to be a really cool um, financing and kind of the first of its kind and Love Sack's kind of a special company, you know. This area, 3rd Street in LA, it's pretty cool. It's uh, kind of restaurant after restaurant, bar after bar. Seems like a place where a lot of business goes down in these parts. I'm not from here, so what do I know? And we're back. You know, I am beat. So let me leave you with a question. How do you systemize to simplify? Let me know. Comment, like the vlog, thumbs up, subscribe, share it with a friend, share it on social media. Help me get this thing off the ground. Go do big things. This is